With J.J. Abrams returning for Star Wars Episode 9 and using this film as a way to connect all the past Star Wars films into one big movie, a lot of people are very interested on exactly how he will implement prequel trilogy continuity. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, one thing is for certain is that J.J. Abrams right now is under a lot of pressure on getting this movie right, and in order to really make it resonate with a lot of fans around the world, it really does have to feel like an authentic Star Wars movie. And in order to do that, I believe that he has to do something very special with our characters, whether they're the legacy characters, the sequel characters, or even the brand new ones coming into play here. And with J.J. Abrams introducing a total of eight of them, you know, there's a lot of big concerns here that this movie may be a bit too overcrowded. Now these past couple of weeks or so we've been going over a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Specifically one of which has all to do with Kylo Ren and Padme Amidala that could very well point to a big hint that the worlds between worlds may have a role in the episode 9 plot. Specifically a description of Kylo Ren walking on a bridge in a very dark environment. As if he is walking in space. In front of him is a door in an oval shape with blue light surrounding it. Through the doorway is a vision from the past that can be seen of Padme's funeral on Naboo, as seen at the end of Revenge of the Sith. The next goes over Kylo's face as if he is in shock seeing his grandmother for the first time. The last goes over a sequence in the doorway showing Padme holding a necklace while being carried on Naboo, as Kylo looks down at his hand holding the same if not similar necklace that Anakin, his grandfather, made for her. Other visions are of blurry shots of Anakin choking Padme as well, with Kylo witnessing the infancy of Darth Vader before the suit. So I wanted to go over a couple of pointers here that really do raise my interest for Episode 9. Now, in case you guys are very much unaware about the worlds between worlds, it's essentially the use of time travel in the Star Wars franchise by showrunner Dave Filoni. Dave Filoni is the head of Star Wars Rebels. He came up with the whole entire idea of the worlds between worlds in order for Ezra Bridger to save Ahsoka Tano from Darth Vader. Very interesting concept for sure because it's like time travel but at the same exact time it's not. It's kind of just kind of like flow walking in a sense from the EU except done in a different way. Now, looking at episode 9 specifically here when it comes to Kylo Ren, this is a huge question for sure. Is this the worlds between worlds? We've been hearing about Kylo Ren going through the dark environments on the metallic catwalks for a very long time now. And to me, it sounds like either A, a, you know, other version of the worlds between worlds, or B, this could actually be the same exact scene that we saw in Star Wars Rebels, except now instead of Ezra Bridger walking through it, it's Kylo Ren seeing moments of the past and kind of just learning more about his heritage, right? His bloodline, you know, the Skywalker bloodline and the Solo bloodline and where he really comes from. And that should be a very interesting angle for Star Wars for sure. To this day, we have never seen something so extreme as of this. And if you think about it, this is something that J.J. Abrams would totally do and would totally pull off. Now we do know that Dave Filoni has talked with J.J. Abrams, Ryan Johnson, and others that are involved with many of the other Star Wars films in the past. They are all talking to each other in order to really keep the continuity of everything in place here. So if they're talking to Dave Filoni, that could only tell us that quite possibly this is indeed the worlds between worlds. I can't quite think of anything else as to why Kylo Ren would see visions of the past through doorways. It really does sound like that specific episode from Star Wars Rebels. Now, what would really be the use of him witnessing his grandmother for the very first time? Would it really be a lesson for him, or could this just be something that Kylo Ren is trying to gain knowledge of and learn more about himself and his overall family tree? It could be something as simple as that. Now, if we look at episode 9, we do know that JJ is taking Kylo Ren down a darker path. Could this quite possibly be the way that he starts to become more prone to the light side of the force and starts getting that redemption arc. And that's a very interesting question now for sure, right? Exactly what's going to happen to Kylo Ren in this film? And 
how much of an effect would he actually be seeing Padme Amidala? How much of an effect would that really have on him as a character? Now, the worlds between worlds, in my point of view, would be an excellent angle for Star Wars, not only because it brings in the opportunity for some of our characters in present time to, to actually be able to see moments in the past and kind of get a clue of what happened during the events of the prequels and the originals and what connections, you know, it really has to other characters in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. So Padme Amidala being a part of Episode 9, is it too outlandish for you guys? Does it seem like it's a little desperate by Disney and Lucasfilm if this does indeed end up in the finalized version of the movie? I don't know about you guys, but it's going to be a very crowded film it feels like, and after all, John Boyega has expressed before in the past that this movie is going to be the war to end all wars, and is really going to be an all-out war, so we can expect a lot of death, a lot of sacrifices, and a lot of those new characters to basically be killed off straight from episode 9. But anyways guys, drop a comment below, let me know what you think about all of this in the comments, and if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.